Today I wanted to show you a three easy ways to add a pop of color to your eye looks. The first way is a wash of color on the center of the lid for a halo eye effect. The second way is applying the color along your lower lash line. And then the third way is adding the pop of color in your inner corner. Let me know which technique is your favorite and let's get right into it. For the first look with the pop of color, I'm gonna start with a neutral brown eye. Going into the palette that I created with Sigma, I'm gonna take the shade Basic on a fluffy crease brush. And I'm gonna start by blending that shade throughout my entire crease. You could also use a bronzer for this step if you want to keep it really simple. And I am building up this shade a few times so I have some nice definition in my crease. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush with that same shade and I'm going to run that across my entire lower lash line. Now I'm picking up a little bit more of that shadow on my pencil brush and I'm gonna pat that on the outer and inner corner of my top lid. So I'm leaving the center of my lid blank for now. So you can see I have this brown shade pretty much wrapped around my entire eye with the center of my lid blank. Now I love using green for my pop of color, but you can use any kind of shade that you like. For my green shade, I'm gonna go into the Natasha Denona Yucca palette and I'm gonna pick up this green shimmer on my finger. That is what the shade looks like on my finger and I'm gonna pat that in the very center of my lid. Now once most of the pigment is laid down, I'm gonna bring my finger up towards my crease and start to soften out this shimmery shade. And you can build this up to be as shimmery and as pigmented as you like. And then I like to go back to my fluffy crease brush with no additional product on it, and I'm gonna softly blend around that shimmer. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the shade just right on my lid. Now to finish up this eye look, I wanna highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. And for that, I'm gonna take the shade Bright from the Sigma palette, and that's gonna go right in the inner corner. And a little bit right under my brow. I went ahead and finished up this eye look with a light layer of mascara. I'm wearing my favorite mascara, which is the Tower 28 Make Waves and Drift. It's the brown shade. And here's the final look at this eyeshadow look where I added a soft pop of color in the center of my lid for a little halo eye effect. Now the second way I like to add a pop of color is on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna start out this eye look pretty similarly how I did to the first one with a neutral brown shade throughout my entire crease. So I'm taking that same basic shade from the Sigma palette and running that throughout my entire crease on a fluffy crease brush. For the lower lash line, I like to do something more jewel toned. One of my favorite shades to do this with is Faye from my Sigma palette. So I'm gonna take that on a smudge brush and I'm gonna run that across my entire lower lash line. Now, since this is a pretty deep shade, it can look kind of harsh, just like that on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take a clean, small crease brush and I'm gonna use that to soften out the edges of this green. So you can see how that looks much softer now along my lower lash line and you can touch up the shade as needed. I'm also gonna add a colored liner to my waterline that's pretty close to the eyeshadow color and I'm using Urban Decay Loaded. And then just like with the previous look, I'm gonna highlight my inner corner and brow bone with Bright from the Sigma palette. Now I didn't really put any eyeshadow on my lid. You can leave it like this if you want to, but I do want to put some kind of shimmer on my eyelid. So from my Sigma palette, I'm going to take Champagne Problems on my finger and I'm just going to pat that along my eyelid. Now 
Again, I just finished up this look with some mascara. This time I'm wearing the black shade of the Tower 28 mascara. And this is the second way that I like to add a pop of color to my looks on the lower lash line. Now the third way I like to add a pop of color to my looks is a soft wash of color in the inner corner. So for this look, I'm gonna start it off the same way that I did the first two with a neutral brown shade in my crease. Can you see why I have pan in this shade? Clearly it is my most used shade from my palette. So again, I'm just taking basic on my fluffy crease brush and I'm blending that throughout my entire crease. And then on a smaller crease brush, I'm gonna bring that same shade along my entire lower lash line. For this look, again, I want a soft wash of color on my lid, so I'm gonna take Champagne Problems. And that's gonna go on my entire eyelid. And then going back to my fluffy crease brush and I'm blending around that shimmer. Now for a pop of color in the inner corner, you wanna use some kind of pastel lighter shade. If you're into light pastel shades, Alter Ego just launched their Dream Gaze palette. So for my pop of color, I'm gonna do blue. So I'm gonna take Bliss on my smudge brush and that's gonna go right in the inner corner. So usually with pastel shades, you wanna build them up a few times so they're nice and pigmented. So after I laid down that blue, I'm gonna take my small crease brush with no additional product on it, and I'm just gonna very lightly soften the edges of the blue, just kind of patting around the edges. And then I always like to add a shimmery white shade on top of that pastel color just to make it pop even more because again, I do love a shimmery inner corner. So for my white, I'm gonna take my Rare Beauty highlighter and Enlighten, and that's gonna go on my very, very inner corner right on top of the blue. And then you can kind of go back and forth in between your two inner corner shades until you're happy with how it looks. So I like just enough of that white shimmer to make it pop, but you can still see the blue underneath. I'm also gonna add that highlighter right under my brow. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this look with a dark brown shadow wing. And for that, I'm gonna use Cold Brew from the Sigma palette. I went ahead and added my brown mascara to finish up this eye look. And this is the third way that I like to add a pop of color to my looks in the inner corner. As always, all the products and brushes I used will be listed down below in the description box. Let me know which way was your favorite to add a pop of color to your eye looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.